Good morning, Jeffrey Friedman, Senior Commodity Broker with RJO Futures, with morning comments Monday morning on Stock Index Futures. Well, I always give you the word of the day. The word of the day is Asia. What do we got? We got very little economic reports for this week going for the whole week. I'll recap last week, but the thing that was most important was kind of looking at Asia, really China. We got economic reports there, CPI, that's Wednesday. And Thursday, we have uh, industrial production and retail sales. Uh, we also have Bank of Japan, a uh, two-day meeting uh, and uh, for monetary policy. So in Asia, that's going to dominate throughout the whole week what they're going to do. Um, knowing that, how strong is China? Remember, when China sneezes, everybody catches a cold. If they're contracting, that's not going to be good for the bull market in the stock index. We're up about 11 percent, so we know that we're always making new highs. We're up about five points in the September contract. Keep that in mind. A quick review of last Friday, non-farm payroll beat the street pretty significantly and of course in Europe we had Germany policymakers saying that they would be okay with a bond buying. Now have said all that okay Europe's probably going to go on vacation in August so that's going to have to go back to the back burner that's why I say now we're going to be concentrating on Asia Japan Australia and possibly and China. China is probably the biggest of all three, and we want to keep our eyes on it. Let's take a look at the technicals real quick. I like to use the September uh, S&P contract because it's the broad index and has the most volume, especially for futures. Now, we're around, we made a new high from last week. We're around 1395. We're definitely in a classical bar chart bull market, meaning prices are going higher higher lows, higher highs, higher closes. And of course, now we're gonna take a look at the resistance and support levels, okay? Um, if we can go higher, your first minor support's gonna be 1407, and the target that everybody keeps talking about is gonna be 1421 in that area. On the way down, we wanna stay above 1370, uh, and if we cannot, and we close under 1365, five points lower than that, that would be minor, a violation to the bulls, but really a trend reversal would not come in before 1345 on a closing basis. Remember always, remember always you can call me Jeffrey Friedman, and we can talk about any market you want in any length you want. You should be calling me at 800-826-4124. And one last thought, trading futures or option to futures involves risk of loss and is not suitable for everyone. Good luck and good trading.